So now on to the big daddy. The big daddy. The Royal Rumble. R R Royal Rumble match. Yeah, Royal Rumble. I got Royal you. Rumble. I was a little bit. I thought you were like. I threw you a curveball there. J E double F J A double R E double T. That's what I was expecting, but that wasn't what happened. Ah, oh, Jeff Jarrett, smoking peyote in the deserts of Arizona. It's true, dude. Jeff Jarrett's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> so the Royal Rumble. The first two out were the fir- the last two in last year. We saw Undertaker, Shawn Michaels. I just like doing that. I don't know why. I, just... I liked it. It, it kind of draws the attention. I um, spaced out, actually. I wasn't even paying attention to what you were saying. I'm sorry. Were you watching the Cody Rhodes match on there? He's an I wasn't. Wrestler. I was actually just staring at uh, Corey Flynn's um, laundry hamper, which is an overfill. It was just it's just there. I was like, mm, hamper. Um, <laughs> sorry. So the first two ones saw uh, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Yep. The they had a, I had a good little... I don't know. They had pretty three, much had a, a three, three minute, four minute little thing going on. I think it's actually ninety seconds is when the next it person felt, comes it in. It felt pretty. Long. Yeah, it felt it like a long long. time because first of all, when Gunter got the gong kit, everyone was like, "Holy be Jesus!" Yeah. Is the honor. That's the, honestly, this was this set up for the whole shock value of the whole match. Yeah, because nobody in their right mind was expecting. I know I didn't pick for these three. No, the, first the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels to start the match. No. It, I mean, this this pretty much just like you said, set the precedence that the, the stuff was just going to be crazy. And Joe said, at the he leaned over and said, well, when I was eating wings, he was like, at the end of this thing, we're going to get something awesome. And that was foreshadowing because we did get something awesome. Thirty comes out. There's like a long. There's like a good fifteen twenty second pause. Yeah. And then. Uh, Rapadoo! It's John Cena. Boo, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Uh, at this point, everybody. In the Hooters. Yeah, including us. Blows including up. us. Including us. I was like... I popped huge. Yeah, dude, I marked out. Because, you know, here's the thing. This, this is what Joe, Joey's going to take it from here. But if you were watching the Royal Rumble and John Cena came out and you were not excited, just stop watching wrestling. Yeah, you are Do not yourself a, f- a favor and just stop watching. You are, you are not a fan. Yeah, if you, if you don't like John Cena, that's fair. Because not everyone does. And I'm not telling you to like someone because... I like Ken Kennedy, and a lot of people do not like Ken Kennedy. Not not heel or face dislike. They just don't like the what he does. They don't like his persona. They don't like his gimmick. If you don't like John Cena, it's not my deal, and that's okay. If you did not become instantly amazed and excited because this dude was supposed to be out till like June, you just need to stop watching wrestling. Go watch Zero One. Go watch something else. Let me ex- you are not to be watching the WWE. Let me explain something to you. The man came back four months in advance to to win the world. Okay, understand. He won the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Are you going to fucking cry about it? It's over. It happened. And let me explain something to you people. He won the Royal Rumble. He's going to go on to, well, we just watched. We're yeah. watching Raw, so obviously. Yeah. He's going to wrestle at No Way Out. Uh, so he probably won't be in the main event at WrestleMania, okay? So get off his ass unless something else changes. Yeah. But he- here's what i got to say. If you actually can come on here and say that you did not enjoy seeing him at number 30 come in, come back early, don't even fucking watch wrestling. Yeah. Don't watch any wrestling because you don't deserve it. How can you not say that you were not excited to see that? It was fucking amazing. Yeah. And there was a point, and there was a point where both of us fucking hated John Cena. Yeah. Absolutely hated John Cena. I, I think, I mean, I'm just like, here's the thing, I respect him. And, and love, hate, not, not even an issue. It's about respect because this man... Cena can't wrestle. Cena can't wrestle. Cena's boring. Cena has no personality. Cena put on an hour-long match, and I've hoard, the, I've shilled this out for like so many times, and this will be the last time I'm going to mention it. That is probably my favorite match I have ever seen is Shawn Michaels and John Cena one hour on Raw. And if you had told me that you know Shawn Michaels hour-long match on Raw, I would have said gold. And you said John Cena's it. Like it's probably a big pile of donkey crap. I don't even want to watch it. And, Wrong. And before we started taping. I said something to Casey. <clears throat> if you are a Hulk Hogan fan, there is no reason why you should not like John Cena. Yeah. John Cena's a hell of a better wrestler than Hulk Hogan ever was. Ever. I love Hulk Hogan. This guy will tell you. I am a huge Hulk Hogan. Martyr. I'm going to tell you straight up about this. I'm sorry, I'm going to be quiet That's okay. for this. Go ahead. Would Hulk Hogan, if he tore his peck, come back like four months before he was supposed to be, you know, like, what, probably legitimately healed? No. No, not even not even a shot in hell. And me, Never. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like this, and I know a lot of people read it. He Hulk Hogan was on an interview, and it this really, as a Hulk Hogan fan, really fucking sucks, and I'm really pissed he even said this. The question, and I'm paraphrasing here, was basically it was a question about pro wrestling, and Hulk Hogan <laughs> said, "Oh yeah, I used to do that bullshit. It's all fake." 
Okay, first off, we know it's fake. We know it's sports entertainment. Yeah. And if you've really watched WWE in the past few weeks, they're trying to really stir back to it. They're still going to call it sports entertainment, but they're trying to make it look as real as possible. Yeah. And that's what has been lost in wrestling for a long time. It's is realism. You, yeah, you know it's fake. Casey pointed out, we've been watching a lot of DVDs recently, about like when guys are going for a pin, like young guys. And I'll <laughs> there's one guy <laughs> that, Joe, that, that Casey yeah, hates yeah, 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 yeah. amazingly, horribly bad. But it's when they're going for a pin and the guys don't, like they don't make sure the shoulders are down on the mat. It's just little stupid bullshit like that. That the E's trying like the referees don't know the finishes anymore, which I think is awesome. Yeah, that's a win-win situation. Um, Unless you screw up, and then it's like totally weird. jumping off subject here. But who gives a shit? That's how we roll. Yeah. Um, that's what you expect from us. And you know what? I'm honestly I'm pleased that people just watch our video. Yeah. And you know what? I'm more pleased that they enjoy it when they watch it because I can make anyone watch this damn video if I send it to you via uh, AOL and some messenger. Um, so uh, like that, cool vid, check it out. Jump back on subject here, like John Cena would out wrestle Hulk Hogan any day, Indeed. and yeah, I know he was kind of shoved down our throats. The guy rolls with the punches. You boo him, so what? He still comes out there and he does his fucking job, okay? Just tonight, he, he cracks jokes while he's in the ring, okay? The Philadelphia fans are booing the shit out of this guy, booing the yeah. shit out of him. Randy Orton made a comment about uh, <laughs> no, John Cena made a comment like. Oh, you took me out of action. You took this all away. He's pointing at the guy. Took this all away from me. Took this all away from me. Yeah. And then he goes, "You took away the chance for me to hear the the fans from section three twenty to boo me." Yeah. Come on, dude. Would Hulk Hogan make a reference to like a fan no. booing him? No. They don't. The man is trying to incorporate it into his gimmick at this point. It, it, it is what John Cena is. If you don't like him, you don't like him. But yeah, we're not going to sit here and try to make you like John Cena. No, no, because just, I wouldn't want you to. Because that's freedom of speech. Yeah. Right now, I'm wearing a T-shirt for an individual that I do enjoy when I watch him. Because I don't expect you. Because which I which was purchased on WWEshop.com. Uh, but my whole the whole thing behind this is you can't say that you didn't pop. Just a little bit when he came out at number a thirty. Bit. It was fucking amazing, and like other people have said on, on their their videos, they popped and then they booed him. But it was that initial pop. It was a pop, and I'll quote somebody who who made a video. It was probably no, actually Casey said this. It was probably the a a pop even bigger than Hulk Hogan would have gotten. Yeah, at this it point. was fucking huge. Everyone, huge. everyone, and if you. Not even counting the crowd and Hooters, because we still had audio. For This is like the first time we've actually had audio in Hooters, so I don't know why. If every single person, every single person in, in Madison Square Garden exploded when yeah. this man came out. Exploded. I want to tell people right now that John Cena's back. He's going to come back. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen, obviously. He might, wrestle, yeah. he might wrestle at WrestleMania. He might not. He is going to be shooting a movie, so he's probably not going to get the world title. If he gets it back, it won't be for like 12 months, okay? He's going to shoot a movie. So get off his dick, okay? He's back for a little bit. Just accept it, and we'll move on, okay? And then when he comes back, what are you going to do, okay? If you hate him, you hate him. If you like him, you like him. That's all i got to say about it. But you can't say that you didn't enjoy seeing him come back four months early at number yeah. 30, Okay. It was a surprise. It was a legitimate surprise, yeah. and that's what we need more in wrestling. Exactly. Honest. Thank you. I, I totally forgot to say that. And that's something, and I know this is going to suck that we haven't even talked about them. WWE is a lot more than that than TNA, and that's something TNA needs to do. Well, I mean, they brought in Kurt Angle, and that was a great surprise. Yeah, that was. Booker T was not a surprise. I'm sorry. I'm not saying I don't enjoy watching, but it wasn't a surprise. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. Yeah. I mean, the Royal Rumble in general, fucking amazing. If I, if yeah. you want to give us, a, if you want us to give it a score. I give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, that's how fucking Easy. excited I was. If someone's interview. boob had popped out, it would have been a ten. Oh, it would have been an amazing ten. If Maria, yeah. if Maria's muff pie would have just bounced out at me, I probably would have been like, How does that even work? I, who gives a shit? It's muff pie, and it would have bounced out. Fair enough. Put that fucking equation together. Skills, buddy. Skills. Ooh, not bad. God, now why would you do such oh, sorry, a stupid shit? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Boom! <laughs> Shoulder tackle, baby! Boom! That just happened! That just happens! Ah, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Legitimately, that fucking hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was going to have enough room to get a revolution, so I was like, screw this, is all I got. You okay? <laughs> you fucking almost just <laughs> dislocated my shoulder. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I was. What's up, Morgan? There was a, that's 
Oh, I didn't know if Cole did it. Oh. I realized I didn't have enough room and I didn't want to like just straight up drop kick you. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> hey, DX is on. Uh, volume, Corey Flynn's TV. What do you guys think about that? Hey, if you want me to hurt Joey more, send in suggestions like an enziguri or something. I was gonna try and do an axe kick, but I couldn't pull it off. There's not enough room. say 25 is too little. But, but you know what? We're thinking about moving on up, much like the Jefferson. So just give us a little bit of time. We'll see what happens. You know I'm gonna watch it. So it doesn't matter what you're fucking saying. So <laughs> I told you it was coming. You're so mean. Ooh, skittle. You, you ran full force, okay? Okay? <laughs>